welcome back to Kay's channel. Hope everyone is doing okay and staying safe. Today is a, just a little short video. I will be giving you an update on the SBA and K service. And the reason I focus on Cabbage is because that's the company I went to, uh, went through for my first PPP and my second PPP. So let's get started with uh, the response I got from K Servicing today. I sent them an email and I was like, hey, Saturday I got a uh, approval from SBA and I got a loan number, but y'all haven't updated my dashboard. And um, she said, well, since it was Saturday, give them two to three business days to respond. And I'm like, to myself, I'm like, today is the third day. Hopefully, I will hear something today, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? But anyways, she said, or he, could be a man, I don't know. They was like, until SBA give them the go-ahead, uh, to disperse funds, they can't do anything, and it doesn't matter if you have a loan number. Once they get give us the go ahead, your dashboard will update to reflect the generation of your loan documents. And I was like, okay, it's been three days. Well, no response. Who knows? So hopefully tomorrow, um. I would know something. We would know something. But until then, we'll have to wait on K Servicing for an update. And I, I'm like, I'm confused because other companies have received updates. But it seemed like all the people that I, um, like, tried to keep up with that went through Cabbage, none of them has got an update from K Servicing. And other companies, you know, they have, have had updates. They don't receive documents. They don't receive funds. It's just Cabbage is the only one. Seems like haven't heard anything from SBA. That's kind of strange to me, but oh well. Only thing I can do is just wait. Hopefully it comes today. Hopefully it comes tomorrow. Who knows? But anyways, let's talk about... Um, SBA. Yesterday, I listened in on a um, a call uh, conference from a former SBA employee. I think he just um, left SBA three days ago. And the CEO of Lindio. Lindio. I think I said that right. Lindio. But anyways, they was on like a conference call. And, um, you know, they was asked, he was asking the former SBA questions. Well, I wrote some of the questions and the response down. Um, the first question people was asking him was about the forgiveness. Do you have to have a forgiveness to receive the second PPP? And the answer, the answer was no. You do not have to have a forgiveness to get the second PPP. But you do have to have all the money spent from the first PPP. So they did on the application they did ask you did you have you used all the funds that uh from the first PPP? And of course if you put no you're not gonna be eligible for the second PPP. And another question was, if your business closed, will you be able to receive a PPP? And the answer was yes. If your business closed and you have not filed bankruptcy and or commit a crime, you will be able, you still be able to get a PPP um, loan um, if your business has closed. So if you don't think that, uh, if you didn't know before if you were, uh, was able to get a PPP loan due to your business close, the answer is yes. As long as you haven't um, filed bankruptcy or committed any crime. And let's see what else I have. 
So for the people who has a hold on their application due to the first PPP, today your bank should be able to see why you have the hold and um, they will be able to tell you what documents you need to send in to uh, resolve the issue. Yes, yesterday, because I didn't come on here yesterday, but yesterday SBA had uh, said that today the banks will be able to find out why your application has a hold on it. So maybe tomorrow you can call your bank and see if they know the reason your first PPP is under review and why your second PPP has a hold on it. So they should be they should be able to um, tell you by tomorrow. Let me see what else. Oh, the Lindo customers are getting denied. They're getting a denied email. If you receive a denied email th uh, from Lindo, um, the CEO said it was a mistake and they are resolving the issue with a system. And you should receive an email letting you know the process of your application. But yeah, they said that um, they the system was sending out emails just telling people they was denied but they really wasn't so all of that should be fixed by now let me see i think that's all i have for today yeah that's all i have for today i mean it really wasn't no update too much to tell you but um yeah but once i hear anything from cabbage i will update y'all let y'all know what's going on but that's it and from for the eidl still nothing no new update to let the people know what's going on so until next time please like share and subscribe Bye.